Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Hey, I've got a quick mailbag question I want to kind of answer for a gentleman by the name of David Nelson. Uh, great question, David. Uh, so the, the, the email that I received was asking to repurpose some matrix panels. So I have, I have here as a demonstration my house, my layout, uh, some matrix panels uh, that he has already wired in a specific vertical pattern. And he wants to repurpose them for a different project as a matrix, but he wants to change the configuration. Basically, he wants to cut the matrix in half and put one half on top of the other and still use one specific single model without having to create two different models and group them together. He wants it to be able to flow pretty good. So uh, I've kind of done that on my matrix panel here, but mine's much more clunky. So we're going to actually use David's models to help exemplify how uh, you can do this for yourself. So basically what Dave has is he has a uh, matrix panel that has two strings. It is a vertical. Uh, oh, it starts at the uh, bottom left. Let's change that bottom left. And uh, what you see here is this is the full panel, two strings of 340 pixels That's uh, and 34 wraps. So it's 10 pixels tall by 34 wide, and that's one output. And then the other half is another 10 pixels tall by 34 wide, 340 pixels. That, that's obviously total 680 pixels. So what he wants to do is he wants to literally take one panel, and he wants to split the panel in half, and then he wants to take the second half and put it up on top. And that way, this would make one big panel. But how do you do that within x -Lite? So this is what we're going to show, uh, is how to take this panel and do that with it. The first thing that we'll do is we'll right-click, and we'll do what we call a uh, export as custom x -Lite's model. Uh, I'm going to uh, call this matrix... David and now I'm gonna go into the import now the th the reason why we're using a custom model and that's what I've, I've done here whoops accidentally did it uh, the reason we're using a custom model and it'll be real fine I, I need to stretch that out so it's the same size but the reason we're using a custom model these are custom models notice the little custom model icon is because we have a different configuration for them but it's still in a quote-unquote matrix Form. So in order to accomplish this, all we've done is we've created the identical matrix here as to here. The difference is now is it shows as one string and not two, but that's okay. So now we need to determine which end is going to be on the bottom and which end is going to be on the top. Dave sent us a picture of his layout, and what he'd like to do is he'd like to split it in half, put uh, the second half on the bottom and the first half on the top. And what we'll end up doing is, since since this is panel number one and panel number two, we'll put the bottom on. Uh, we'll put the top, the first side on the left, on the bottom, and we'll do that manually. Now to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to simply click on the model data of the custom model version. And if we open this up, we'll make this nice and big. You'll see that we have ten lines, and we have this is our first one right here, right? So what we're looking for, remember how many pixels were in one output? I, uh, uh, I believe it was 340. We're looking for pixel number 340. That should be right at the end of one strand. So from here, this, this column here, these columns here, all of these are staying where they are. We're not moving any of them. But what we are going to do is we're going to insert a few more height lines we need 10 more so we're going to change this height to 20 and now we've added 10 more lines in basically what we'll do is now we'll click and drag since we know we have 340 pixels per output we'll go ahead and slide over here I'm holding the shift key down and uh, I've selected all of these now we can right click and cut and now we'll just grab this over here the top left square right directly under the number one here and what we'll do is oh you don't right click you just hit control V to paste so now you have the exact same matrix panel one on top of another and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of these widths so if we just delete these watch them disappear over here on the right hand side as I delete them out and it is just that simple 
to create a matrix panel in this manner. And you can see how it's built right here. It looks just like a matrix panel, but now you know that panel number one is at the top. It has the first output over here. So this is custom. This is entirely custom. This isn't a standard x lights model, but it's a custom x lights model. Now uh, I'll go ahead and click OK. And here we have our redesigned matrix that fits perfectly. Whenever you line these up, these are the correct numbers. And then this would be exactly half. Well, I mean, demonstration purposes only, right? Uh, but this is exactly what I, I, I think Dave is trying to go for. And uh, I think that'll fix your problems. Now, obviously, you're going to have to do two strings here. You're going to change this to two strings. And then you're going to do an individual start channel. You're going to do, and x -Lights is intelligent enough to say, hey, what's the total 400 or 680 pixels divided by 2? I'm going to split it right in half. And since the wiring diagram is already set up, we, if we look at the wiring view, we can, we can come in here and we can see that, hey, uh, and this is the back view. This is looking at it from the back. We're starting on the right, going up, down, up, down, up, down. And then the continuation is from the very end down to the very bottom. So if we were looking at it from the front view, this would be output number one, and this would be output number two. Hey guys, that's all from me here at Pixel Pro Displays. This is Clyde signing off. If you like the video, give us a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content we continue to put out. And also, if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining our PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome brand new sequence each and every month into your PPD Sequence account. And by gosh, it is great. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We will catch you in the next video. Take care.